Hey everybody, welcome back. So despite me having this channel, I really am an introvert by nature, as I'm sure many of you are who are watching this video as well. And unfortunately, we live in a world that's really dominated by extroverted type of personalities. But despite that, introverts really can thrive in the workplace. And so in this video, I wanna show you some ideas and tips to help you thrive as an introvert in the workplace. If you're new here, my name is Michael and I am a higher education specialist that lives in Los Angeles, California. And I have my doctoral degree in organizational leadership. By tapping into my past experience, both in the classroom and also at work, my goal on this channel is to provide leaders with strategies and tips to help level up their leadership and their management skills. So before we jump into the pros of being an introvert in the workplace, I think it's a good starting point to define what it means to be an extrovert versus what it means to be an introvert. So by definition, an introvert is a person whose personality is characterized by introversion. Uh, a typically reserved or quiet person who tends to be introspective and enjoys spending a lot of time alone. In general, introverts need quiet time to concentrate. They're very reflective, they're self-aware, they take time to make decisions, and they really don't like working in groups. On the flip side, by definition, an extrovert is somebody whose personality is characterized by extroversion a typically gregarious and unreserved person who enjoys and seeks out social interaction. And in general, extroverts enjoy being the center of attention. They enjoy group work. They feel isolated by too much time spent alone. They like to communicate by talking. They like to talk about their thoughts and their feelings, and they tend to act before thinking. So as you can imagine from these definitions alone, extroverts are going to tend to thrive more in the workplace as the workplace is generally dominated by group work, lots of communication and decisions that are made very quickly. So as an introvert, I thought I was doomed. I never thought I would have as much success as my extroverted colleagues. And it wasn't until I read this book, Introvert Advantage by Dr. Lanny, that my mind was really changed. Now in this book, she provides some practical tips of navigating being an introvert, both in the workplace, but also in parenting, socializing, and also in relationships. For the purpose of this video, I will focus on those work tips, but I really encourage everybody to read this book, including extroverts, so you could understand how introverts think and the way they act within the workplace. Now, while Dr. Lenny provides numerous tips of, for introverts to navigate in the workplace, I will focus on what I deem is really her top three. And those top three are introverts are great listeners, introverts build deep relationships, and then thirdly, introverts are adaptable. So let's start with the first advantage that introverts are great listeners. So in her research, Dr. Lenny finds that introverts bring a completely different perspective to the table. And much of this is due to introverts being great listeners. And because they're great listeners, they often see things and hear things that extroverts might miss. And unlike extroverts, introverts don't tend to jump to conclusions. So when they do speak, they really capture the attention of the audience. So just a pro tip for this uh, in the area of being a good listener, you don't necessarily have to be the one to speak first in a meeting. It's completely fine to sit back and relax, listen to the conversation, and then give a valuable insight and contribution when you are ready. And so second, we have introverts build deep relationships. So as an introvert, Dr. Lanny tends to read a room really well. Um, she also empathizes well and really listens to people to get a true understanding of their perspective before talking or making any kind of decision. And so as a result of that, she is able to foster deep, meaningful relationships with her clients and also with her peers. So a pro tip for this, if meeting new people makes you feel uncomfortable, start with small goals. You don't have to hide in the corner of a room during a happy hour or a whatever work gathering you might have. Start out with small goals of being able to introduce yourself to just one person and then slowly work your way up from that as time goes on to meet different people at different events that your organization is having. And then thirdly, introverts are adaptable. So this adaptability perspective through Dr. Lanny's research she had found that introverts who are in extroverted type of careers are able to adapt very well. Now, this doesn't come second nature, such as listening or empathizing with others. So they really had to work hard at it, 
but when they did, they were really successful in those fields. And so a pro tip for this would be to really make sure you're getting to know the leaders in your organization. And you could do that in a one-on-one -on -one type of environment that would probably make an introvert feel more comfortable. And also make sure you're seeking out information to get to know as much of information as you can about the organization on your own. And this will lead you to great levels of adaptability in your organization. And so another book that I wanted to recommend too is this book, Quiet by Susan Cain. This is another fantastic book for introverts to read in all areas of being an introvert, whether it's relationships, socialization, personal relationships, or also at work, this will really help you navigate those situations. So while these are just a few of the many advantages that introverts have in the workspace, I hope this has sparked some confidence in you to be a confident leader if you are an introvert. And if you have any personal experience with this, please do share those tips and advice in the comment section. And before I go, if you struggle with generational differences in your workplace, make sure you click on the link in the description of this video, and I will send you a resource to help you navigate those generational differences. And I would love it if you would subscribe and also check out my video here on why I believe that working from home and working from the office are both vital to success. That's it for today. Have a great week. I will see you soon. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.